Okay, hello everyone. Uh, I'm Robert Karasek. I'm a student from Slovakia and today I will talk about next generation of Uarox Test Suite. Uh, the main idea of this project was uh, introduced by uh, my mentor Hisham. He is a well-known person in Lua community and uh, Luarox community. And uh, this new test suite was uh, developed on uh, Google Summer of Code internship. I only can recommend this organization work with uh, Lua community and Google was, uh, was really exciting. Uh, I learned a lot of new stuff. So two project. Uh, all the suite was implemented like, uh, uh, like a really long uh, bash script. Uh, it was executed on uh, Travis and uh, the main idea of uh, this bash script was test this Lua rocks uh, on black box level. Uh, this was achieved by uh, 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 by build of new environment, which built uh, Luarox version on your computer as uh, isolated from your global Luarox. Uh, after this successful build, the script continued into tests, but uh, you can check the output of tests. Uh, you if you get uh, some error during the execution, the script will stop and, uh, and you can continue to other test. Th there were so many issues. Uh, but the isolation of test, uh, reset testing environment after each test was, uh, was a really good idea. And uh, Hisham wanted uh, to make it multi-platform, which was uh, created uh, like a small batch script for Windows and it tests just uh, built of some small module. Uh, this was executed uh, on AppWare and uh, th the results of this test was uh, just on AppWare. It, uh, th there was no merge, uh, you can't check uh, other tests on Windows so you have just uh, this only built module. Uh, does someone has idea what we are missing here? What can we do better? No one. Uh, everything is great. We don't need any new tests. Uh, just a reminder. Uh, the continuous integration started on Travis, uh, which uh, we get uh, results for GitHub, uh, so it uh, help uh, on merge pool uh, request, but uh, but it was the information from everywhere and uh, the best script, as I said, has m so many t uh, troubles, and coverage was uh, was on Coveral's uh, system or s service. Uh, our new test uh, ideas was. Uh, not just do black box testing, but allow the white box testing. This is so important for programmers. Uh, it's faster like building a whole environment before testing and uh, you can uh, you can test it on that uh, white box layer. Uh, idea for black box testing uh, was the same in new Luarox test suite. Uh, Envi env environment uh, stay same. Uh, there is one minimal which has just uh, uh, basic uh, modules for Lua rocks and full environment got something like Lua socket, Lua sec, and others. Uh, we wanted to upgrade multi platform, not, not just uh, to make some uh, t t t trivial test on AppWare. We, we wanted to run all tests on Windows. Not so all, but mostly which can be executed on Windows. Uh, first time I was like, why do we need to make this? Uh, because I don't think uh, command line uh, users are, are executing it, it on Windows. But uh, uh, during the summer, I, I saw uh, every week uh, some issues on uh, Windows command line. So it's, it's really... 
it's it's really working and people are using it on command line windows too uh, the, the best uh, uh, the best framework for making this uh, happen was uh, Bastip. It's, uh, I think, most known uh, unit testing framework in Lua. Uh, it's a uh, multi-platform based on describe and eat blocks. Uh, I think every language has a similar uh, framework. You can do asserts, mocks, uh, asynchronous test. Output handling, which is uh, it's, a, it's a really good. You can implement your own uh, library for that. And uh, for us, was uh, the, the best functionality script execution before tests, because uh, we we built the environment before the tests. Uh, we want it uh, all implemented in Lua. Uh, Busted work with uh, Moonscript 2 and uh, the output languages you can change. Structure of new test suite is, is really simple. Uh, the first uh, folder is uh, test, where there is a Lua script for built environment. Uh, there is some uh, small script to uh, build mock server, which I say, which I say later, but uh, it was used for the black box, black box star, uh, part of this project and uh, to test uh, upload functionality. Uh, other subfolder is test files. You can add there uh, some, some rocks, specs for your project, for your uh, unit test. Uh, next folder is spec. Uh, this is like uh, from documentation of Bastid framework. Uh, for each module, you have a spec file with uh, your unit tests. Uh, you can use uh, tags on your unit tests. Uh, for example, we used uh, the some tests for Windows, some tests for uh, Unix. Uh, some uh, special cases has a hashtag with uh, the, the, the number of pull re request. So if you are now uh, developing some bigger part of Lua rocks and you want to pull your merge, pull your request, uh, it's good to make a unit test for it. Uh, the test uh, for first view, it, 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 look, it looks like quite hacky, but uh, in, uh, in the main describe block, you just write what you are going to test. As we can see, we are testing the install part of Lua rocks. And the first test is uh, just install LuaSec module with skipping dependency checks. Uh, this is a black box test, so you can imagine you type it on your command line in your terminal. Uh, something like Lua rocks install LuaSec, uh, you add your libraries, add your flags. And th th this you uh, assert in uh, in a busted framework. Uh, for example, we can see if uh, the environment is just minimal, we are not testing uh, build of Lua socket. So we test it uh, like uh, execute show Lua socket. This uh, should re return false because Lua socket is not in that environment. And uh, for better check, we, uh, we check the library if, if there is something uh, with Lua socket. The next test, uh, as I mentioned, uh, was to some pull request uh, 6312. Uh, uh, and we can see that there is if condition, for example, if, if there is a Windows operating system. So it's re really easy. You can just open some uh, test. Uh, read it for five minutes and uh, you get into it. Oh. The mock of Luarox server was uh, based on uh, Luarox upload command because uh, it's possible to test it uh, white box, but we want to stick the, the, the first idea test Luarox on black box level. And th this is how we created some mock up server of Luarox. Uh, it, 
it's using REST <coughs> server as module and has some basic get methods with, uh, with, with re responses for your unit test. So if you want to test a block command or on black box uh, level, unit creates some, some responses into this file. Uh, it runs in background during the execution. Uh, it could be uh, execu executable on Travis, but it's not for Windows users. Uh, the biggest uh, step for uh, this test suite was to make it multi-platform. <coughs> on uh, OS X, we don't have any big issues. There were some uh, new if conditions, uh, I think mostly for Wasocket module. And the bigger problem was uh, on Windows platform. Uh, you need to change uh, quotes, uh, some commands, uh, uh, rules in th their <laughs> command line. Uh, for example, temporary directory, it's not the same and other problems. Uh, now you can uh, use it on AppWare or on your local Windows command line. You, r you run mostly the, <coughs> the, the main test on Windows 2 and get uh, good coverage. But a uh, new issue was merging of these results. Uh, you, you get coverage from Travis and you get coverage from AppWare. But uh, th th there is not, not, not no easy way, I'll, I don't know for sure, but uh, last summer there was no way to how to merge the, these results uh, on coverals. So we changed the service to CodeCo. CodeCo is merging these results. Uh, it has uh, some v v visual models to uh, represent your coverage. Uh, so, so now if you send some pull request to Warox, uh, it's going to CodeCo. Execution on Travis is uh, on OSX, uh, Unix. Uh, I think th there are versions of Lua and LuaJIT. And on AppWare, it's quite the same, but some uh, tests are skipped. Few known issues, uh, like I mentioned before, the, the, the rest of tests uh, can be executed on Windows platform. Uh, we get into problem with output on Windows. Uh, you get it, uh, you, you don't see the cons consequence, you, you see the output random and on AppWare is the same. Uh, we increased the, the coverage of Luarox. Uh, before it was less than 80%, now it's 88% of coverage. Uh, I think this is everything. And if you have any questions, yes. If you have any questions, please ask. And uh, <laughs> thank you. I have a question. Uh, sorry if I missed that, but what's your target coverage? Uh, we, we didn't. The uh, question was, was what was the target coverage? Uh, we. Uh, we have we had goal to increase this coverage, but. Uh, that there wasn't some uh, some uh, point you, you know we need to get uh, higher like 80 or something uh, we we spent a lot of time on that uh, windows platform so on that coverage i don't have so much time because we we really created the new test for Warox just at the end phase of development so 80 percent is very good i, I don't yes. think you need the, the main functionality is covered by the black box test on in, on two environments. Uh, yes. So what what would you do now? What what's next to be done for this project? Well, next to be done. So uh, increase coverage. Uh, 
if you make some pull request, uh, you should make some unit tests for it to increase coverage, to have uh, to have a more stable Warrocks build. Uh, I don't know, maybe fix some that Windows issues, but uh, I'm more Unix oriented, so I I, I just do the basic on Windows, really. It's, it, it wasn't so easy. Okay, so you're, you're looking for good Windows developers to help you fix this? Yes, of course. The, uh, the, the, this test suite is, uh, is, is really using, so if you are a Lua Rocks developer, someone, please uh, make it better. Sorry? So I saw the, the web server was something called REST server? Uh, yes, 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 it was... Uh, yeah, you, you require a web REST server, but uh, what is the REST server? This is just ba uh, basic HTTP server. A uh, question, uh, question was... Uh, sorry? So what, what is this uh, REST server module? Uh, what is the REST server module? Uh, this is just the basic HTTP server, which, uh, which is some kind of uh, mock or some, uh, some uh, basic Luarox server. Because when you upload your modules to Luarox, you need to get to some uh, response. You, you can mock it easy with busted on white box level. But if you are want to make it like black box test, you need uh, to have some HTTP server yeah, okay, so, 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 so running behind. The library that you use. Yes, yes. It's, it's, it's it, part of works, or it's, a it's it's another <laughs> dependency. Okay. It's uh, before this test. This is uh, this is some special test. Before this test, we built that uh, server uh, running in background, and tests are executed. Then we stop it and. That's the short description how it works. It's like you are sending something on uh, uh, Luarox uh, API 1, uh, some status of your module, <coughs> some upload of your new rock. Okay, any questions? Thank you very much.